you really just should have paid for all of our food. For one, but I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why do you got to pay for all y'all food, though? And we were talking about picking up girls at the movie theater. And you see a bunch of chicks. You can hit them with some popcorn, you know? Candy, little milk dud. And here's what, why I say no. Anything that you don't earn, you don't appreciate. All attractive women, they get free shit all the time. Now you are just another guy that's giving free shit. It is a gesture. Yeah. But it's a gesture unearned. You, you've set up the dynamic that we are, I gotta, you have to pay for her attention. True. So it starts with popcorn, then it's milk duds, then, you, then you're buying a house, or you're paying rent. <laughs> and, and anything you do for a woman more than three times is no longer a favor, it's an obligation. A woman, she brought a, she had a birthday party. All her friends came, none of them came with no money. Like, you really just should have paid for all our food. For one, it's 18 and what? Nobody wants a broke you, nigga, you, you Whoa, bro! But it starts with popcorn. Yeah, true. <laughs> I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. And we were talking about picking up girls at the movie theater. Right, right, right. So I'm thinking if I'm in a group, but you know, a bunch of my guys, and you see a bunch of chicks, yeah. you know, something that's kind of like nice and not too creepy, you fucking hit them with some popcorn, you know? Right. Imagine you see them in, you see them there, you go, hold on one second, you go, you get fucking three big buckets. Okay, go, and what was, what was my, what was my... You said, you were like, nah. Nah, just, like, <laughs> okay, so... But that, but in the clip, in the clip, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm more like, you know, I fucking hit it with some candy, little milk duds. <laughs> I, maybe I went a little too far. Well, here's, here's, and here's what, why I want, why I say no. Um... Anything uh, that you don't earn, you don't you don't appreciate. I got you. And so, whenever it is, if you're giving something unsolicited, mm -hmm. and because she's attractive, first of all, attractive women they get free shit all the time, right? And so now you are just another guy that's giving free shit. And so what you're doing is you're saying you're like your your attention. As a man should be enough. Like just yeah. giving her the attention yeah. that is enough. And to do that, what you're doing is you're giving a gift. And, and I understand it's a small thing and it's a nice gesture, but you haven't even spoke. You're approaching her saying, I'm buying your attention with the popcorn. True. It is a it is a gesture, yeah. but it's a gesture unearned. And the gesture unearned is what you're doing is you're setting up a dynamic where uh, okay, you you you've set up the dynamic that where I got you have to pay for her attention. True. So it starts with popcorn, then it's milk duds, then you then you're buying a house or you're paying rent. <laughs> and, and 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 I don't I'm, I'm not saying that anybody has to be there's anything wrong with that. What I'm saying is that but you're setting up a dynamic. There's something I used to say years ago. Anything you do for a woman more than three times is no longer a favor. It's an obligation. It becomes. Expected. Gotcha. And so, um, Mike always buys my friend stuff. And every time I bring my boyfriend, he pays for the whole bill if I'm right. with my girls and shit. And then they take I it for granted. Saying. And then it's just, and, and we've seen a video, there's been videos of that where, where, um, where women have, you know, I, I saw this video, Mike, I, I, Mike, Mike's fixing the lights and shit, but, uh, the, um, where a woman, she brought a, she had a birthday party and then, uh, the, the, all her friends came. None of them came with no money. And then she was like, "You gotta, you gotta pay for my, my, my how you?" Oh, I saw not? that video. That right. was that's a, but, a waiter's but, nightmare. But it starts with popcorn. Yeah, true. <laughs> Big fact. It starts with popcorn. And so you try. You have to understand something. You you set the president. We like. How does a woman know who you are? You tell her. You yeah. tell her who you are. Yeah. And you tell her in your the way you talk, the way you walk, what you expect, what you don't expect. And and you're setting a precedence as this. My attention, my yeah. my sheer presence is not enough. Yeah. That I gotta sweeten the pot. Now if you're talking and you're only kicking and you da 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 he says, uh and and then she's she's um getting the popcorn, you're like, oh, I got that. That's clearly a different thing. Gotcha. But I, I don't know if I would do that. You know, I, you. I mean, because, yo, I'm, I'm dope. Yeah. The, I am the commodity. You have to act like you're the commodity. And if you're acting like you, you as a commodity is somehow, uh, there's, a, there's a something that I say. Anytime you get a guy's five, five foot four, uh, shout out to Aaron Berg, uh, <laughs> 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 who, who kind of lies about it and says he's five foot six. He's doing that because he's basically saying um, five foot four is not enough. Um, I understand that he's not internalizing that and it's not a conscious thing, but he's going, what he's doing is he's saying, um, if I just was two inches taller, 
Yeah. It would be enough. And you're you. you're enough as it is. I got you. If you if you if you um you would hope to get lucky. Like you would hope that you would find that one girl that goes, "Man, this fucking guy brought me popcorn. This was really yeah, nice. You know uh, what? It, I'm going to return the favor." Here's an- but here's, one here's out of 10. A, here's another thing. There is no luck. Yeah. I don't believe in luck. I don't gamble. I don't even play lotto. Because, so I'd rather put my time and energy and money in something that I know is going to yield uh, something in with with work and focus. So um, I, it, it's not luck. If you're dope, like I get it that not, everybody's not going to go for you. I mean, I'm 57 years old, and so just sheer my age, sometimes a woman it will discount. Yeah, but yo, know, I'm dope. Yeah. Like so, you going? I got a guy. You know. You need a plumber? I got a guy. You got body work? I got a guy. You, I mean, you not, You need your pussy. I know how to eat it. I've, I've eaten a lot of pussies. I'm good at it. A lot of practice. You know, I mean, even <laughs> when it comes to that, I, I, it's young dudes. I'm, I'm going to get a little sexy. Where's Tiana at? Because she need to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> as, a, as an older dude, I pay attention. I pay attention to this. So here's the thing. You get a guy, yo, I tore that pussy. I was smashing. If you got a girl and she says she's missionary style, she's a missionary. Let me talk to the camera. If she says she's missionary style and she is pushing her hamstrings against you as you're pounding it, <laughs> you are too deep. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's going, this is too much. Yeah. If you're... If you if you're going down and, you're, and she's <laughs> she's hyperventilating, it's because you she's sent too sensitive, and you're you're going too hard. So you gotta when you, when you're down there, you should listen. You should be looking at her diaphragm. You should be you should be watching so that her breath is goes deeper. That her, as as she gets more into her breath, the, instead of that <laughs> that. It should be a deeper where she's sinking deeper and then she wants more. And you need to be just behind where she wants more. So you're pulling back when she wants more. So the, 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 it's, it's a, it's a push-pull, yeah. but it's a push-pull. But you're paying attention to the signals. Yeah. If you're not paying to the attention, because if, you, if, you're, if you're hitting it right... Eventually, you'll see the legs, the, the hip muscles, the hip relax. flexors will relax and yeah. they'll fall back because she's trying to get it all. Yeah. So if we're not paying attention, if we're just so busy doing what we're doing, which again, this is why the principles to to my podcast has always been, has, has been boiled down to ace, authenticity, credibility, and empathy. Empathy is putting yourself in her position. It's being able to read the signals that she's giving you. And if you're not reading them, then you're just doing what you want to do. You, you can go home and jerk off. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need a person there to jerk off. It's about, a, it's about an intimate connection that you want to build with somebody. You know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, We talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all. Do all of the above. Yeah. Let's go.